This is magic. It's complete black. Uh huh. Magic is Caramel's cousin. Oh really? Yes. And uh, this is Oreo. Oh really? Oreo. And uh, here we have Mini. Come in. So this is Mini. And the Mini and Oreo look identical except for the size. Oh. the most active yeah uh, most active one right? very vocal <laughs> hey friends and welcome to another edition of tinny talks today something very fun something i did in the u.s and we're going to try it here in bangalore india come along it'll be fun In the heart of Bangalore, you will find the very first ever cat cafe. Heard at Charlie's. So, I know I have a lot of cat viewers out there who really enjoyed my last cat video. So, let's see what an Indian cat cafe is like. Okay. So, oh, hello. Hey guys. Hey guys. So here we are entering into the cat enclosure. Purd is going to be expanding this to about three times the size to give the cats more space. Purd was started to take cats that have been abandoned or hurt cats, and the owners have a big heart and wanted to provide a new home for them. And it's grown into this establishment where people can now come and visit them and even adopt them. The entrance fee to the cat room is 100 rupees or $1.25 and it goes towards feeding and care of the cats. The cats have lots of toys and a lot of things to jump on and sit on and they're really well taken care of here at Bird. something about petting cats and being around cats that turns me into a kid. I just, <laughs> I love it. I miss it. I, again, I want a cat. Look at this one. He's just chilling out in the cat cave. Love it. Such hospitality at Purd. When we were visiting, Patrick had brought us some water as well as the menus. They offer a wide variety of food here, everything from appetizers to main courses, all sorts of coffees and teas and beverages. And I'll peruse through the menu here. You can stop the video at any point to take a closer look. But they do have a full restaurant and a separate eating area that is different from the, where the cats are, but um, just very close, right around the corner actually. And since they're expanding the operations there, the cats will have more room to roam and there will be a separate area for eating as well. So the rest of it, like the main course and starters, both veg, non-veg, ah. uh, you can have it outside. Okay. We have a dining right from uh, 11 in the afternoon up to 10 in the night. Very good. And what's, how do people get in contact with you if they want? I'll give you uh, uh, my boss's number. I'll okay. give you his visiting card. Sure. It's 
a great way to get to know cats and their personality. They're all different. Some are shy, some are outgoing, like this one. He is so rambunctious. And also so precious. You know, he just wants to have a drink like people. How cute. So this is Srikanth, you're the owner of the cafe. Yes. It's a great concept. What made you want to get do a cat cafe? See, we started rescuing a lot of cats. Huh? Okay, and these are all rescued and given up cats. Right. Okay. So we take care of them. Initially we put them up for adoption. Yeah. So once they did not get adopted, they are here. Uh-huh. Okay? So people can come here, they can spend time with cats, right. they can have food and go. Right. That's and, the concept. and I understand that people can also adopt the cats yes. too. Yes. That's so true. this is a big phenomenon that's happening all over the world. Yes. Come and have coffee, maybe take a cat home. Right. <laughs> so right. yeah. Exactly. If you're in Bangalore, India, go to Purd at Charlie's. I highly recommend it.